Well, hello, I made, oh, my voice. I made it to the set. Why am I locking the door? Hello, oh, the set looks wonderful. My voice is so fast today. Okay, so where's my assistant? This looks wonderful. Look at you. Come here. Oh, oh, it's like special ed. Special. Oh, well, this is a, uh, this is for uh, my website, genderfun.com. That's a site that I started. I started a site. It's out of sight. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get our the show on the road. Assistant. Hi, beautiful people of the internet. It's Amnesia Sparkles. And on today's episode, we're going to show you how to make some lovely, lovely cookies. And in this, in the well, let's do that again. But that was good. That was you improvised. Yeah. That was nice. You you took a chance. No, you took a chance. Man. That was nice. Okay. Hi, beautiful people of the internet, it's Amnesia Sparkles, and I'm here to show you on this episode, no, let's do that again, that was too many words, see what happens there, yeah. see what happens there. I host a show on genderfun.com, and it's, uh, you started as a weekly show, and now it's uh, just sporadic episodes, um, mostly on how to, you know, tutorials, and makeup, we do makeup tips, and we do hot topics. I think there's a need in the world, you know, with all this, uh, all this negative stuff that we see on, on television, we have to counterbalance it with a little fun. Oh, do I have fans? Well, I don't know if I should call them my fans, but they're more like an extended family. And uh, yeah, they send me emails uh, with pictures. I encourage that and they, we post the pictures on, on the website. Because it's mostly a site for them, not just, you know, it's not all about me. <laughs> well, Adrian acts mostly as my manager and my creative, um, I have a hard time coming up with concepts and creative. Uh, I'm mostly a talking head, and he is the behind the scenes. He comes up with uh, uh, tips and ideas for the shows. So he's good for something. We started Gender Fun in January, I think it was January 9th of 2009. Yeah, we get a lot of fan mail. Uh, that's nice. There's so many stories of, about these kids, these teenage kids. I mean, we're in 2010, and they're still having a a horrible time in small towns and you know parents not accepting them or peers not accepting them um, and and really who are they hurting they're hurting nobody and all they want is just to live their lives be happy and if they want to dress up they just want to dress up you know they're not hurting anybody and yet um, they have a horrible time and a lot of them that email us either are in it in that horrible moment or they've gotten out of it and they're, they're, they share their stories with us and we post those also. Now here are the ingredients you're going to need. So what you're going to do here let me show you you're going to rub it in your hands like this like you're making fire. <laughs> oh it burns! It's a good workout too. <laughs> it's your tip just fall off. <laughs> That's a Jewish cookie. That is a little less off the tip. Okay. Amnesia, uh, she, she doesn't think she is me, no, uh, because she doesn't think highly of me. You know, she, she, she thinks that I overthink things and, uh, you know, I'm too, too serious of a person, you know, when I'm on my own. Um, so she, she would probably say I bore her, you know, I'm boring to her. Because in her world, uh, anything's possible and you just, you know, uh, and, and everything's fun. Uh, where in my world, I will, you know, I live in the real world. Amnesia resides in a specific house of emotion. Like, you know, emotions have different houses and amnesia resides in the, in this kind of uh, happy, silly, fun house um, where anger does not enter, where these negative emotions do not enter. It's like the three little pigs, you know? Um, the wolf is bringing the bad energy and he can blow and blow all he wants. Um, but he's not gonna knock the house down. Yeah, but I need to adjust my uh, junk. 
You know, that stuff between the legs. Hold on. I don't know if I feel comfortable with everybody <laughs> looking at me while I'm stuffing my shit. Joe, I'm gonna need you to zip me up. Mm -hmm. See, men are good for something. Right now, let's see what it looks like. I think we all have amnesia, though. I think everybody has amnesia, where you totally forget the crappy things in life, and you're just totally in the moment, and you're living, and you're having an awesome time, and uh, you're not hurting anybody. And th that's amnesia. I mean, it just manifests uh, in different ways. Why does amnesia look the way she does? Well. That's, a, that's probably something that I don't know how to answer, but I ask myself that a lot. It's like, why is Amnesia a girl? Well, Adrian found me in 1997 in the back of a Walmart in a dumpster. Um, but I don't remember anything before that. Um, and that's why, you know, um, I chose the name Amnesia because I just couldn't remember my past. Apparently I was just left there and uh, he took me home and his Hispanic family uh, took me in. If I tried to be her the way that I look, it just come across like fake. Where she does it, and it's completely real to people, you know? Um, and, I mean, you, you look at, you read the comments that people leave on videos, and a lot of the times people choose her over me. Like, they know that it's the same person, but they prefer a fantasy than, than the real thing. And I'm fine with that because as long as they're they're getting what they need out of the fantasy, I mean, it's like it's fine with me, you know. As long as they're happy, because that's the whole point, you know. I mean, part of me thought of killing her, but but that was the selfish part of me. I kind of grew out of that. I think slowly, um, I'm 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 using amnesia as more of like a servant, you know. It's like serving the people and serving you know, something greater than herself. So, so yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I want to kill her now. I think now she's like for the people, you know, like created the, the, we created the gender fund and emails have been coming in um, from all over the world of, of people who recognize their inner amnesia and it feels good. It's like, okay, you know, now it's like, we got to do it for, for other people. We're still in the frame and everything? Fantastic. <laughs> Smile. Get those, per get those pearly I feel that, that there's a lot of people sure. that don't face their fears anymore. They're just too scared. And I say just, you know, go for it. If you want to be a filmmaker, if you want to be a writer, whatever it is that you want to do, just do it. You know, don't be afraid of what other people are going to think. I just say uh, keep on sparkling. You know, don't let the world bring you down. Go for your dreams. And um, don't forget who you really are. And think that's, you know, that's very important. Always be true to yourself. You have to be real. To be real! That's what I say. Your hips. Okay. And then it's gonna be walking on your, on your, on your, not on your heel, but on your tippy toes. So like this. And put your hips out one way and the other. And then you turn. It's like a pivot. Yes, yes. Chin up, chin up, and again. One, two, three, four. Yes, and pivot. Yes. Now, you on this side? All right. Let's go, my friend. Let's start with our right, okay? Two, three, and go. Pivot. Yes, and go. Oh yeah, up, up, up. I messed up on that one, but it's good. Hit. Yes. Very good, sister. And that's how you do it. You're lovely.